Hey there YouTube, Alfonso's Team Grade Lock. We have a brand new deck profile for you. This time we have Sam of Team ONS. What's up guys? Rocking out with the Gold Paladins. All right, what build is this? This is Gurgut. Gurgut? Yeah. All right, so uh, let's get started. All right, so first we've got four SP Gurguts. Very important. If they're not SP, you're playing the game wrong. Okay, so four SP Gurguts, okay. All right. Three SP Ezel Scissors. All right. Very important. Okay. And uh, what what do skills do again? If I may ask, first of all. For whom? Okay, for both. Let's start off with Gurguit. Right. So, Gurguit's uh, on stride skill is yes. Counter Blast one. Yep. Check the top four. Superior calls something, and he gets plus two. Okay, that's pretty good. Helps combo off for Unite. His GB2 effect is Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Check your top four and guard with something. Oh, okay, so it's a superior guard in a way. Yeah. Okay, And awesome. Ezel Scissors is here for our Link Joker matchup. Okay, so that's always, yeah. Because fuck Link Joker. Yeah, it's been a very uh, thorny side in Link Joker. And now our one of tech. The one of? Dongle. Okay, so what does this guy do? This guy has Unite. And when he when Unite activates, he gains boost, intercept, and plus five shield. Huh. Okay. He is our utility card. Utility. Because if I call this, whatever I need, a booster, an interceptor, he fills in the slot nicely. So how is it? Is it one of it? Uh, is it like a little bit risky with him? Or is I've never had to ride him. Never had. And to. he's he puts in so much work. I really enjoy running this. All right. Awesome. Okay. The one of tech. And those are our grade threes. All right. So now so we'll going. go to grade two. All right. We've got four pill. Okay, so this guy. Pillwool is on boost, counter blast one. Check your top three, superior call something. Okay. It's gold paladins, we superior call. Pillwool is amazing for getting multiple attacks off. Uh huh. Um, on your scorch point turns, Pillwool is amazing because whatever <laughs> you call gets plus five. Ah, okay. You get a massive boost. Okay, the next grade two is. Famgold. Okay. Uh, a not, not a lot of people are. Running Famgol because of Perrymore. Okay. But I think that's a mistake. Famgol is an amazing card. It does what Perrymore does, but it doesn't limit you to the same column, and he's free. I don't have to pay any cost. So this guy just went placed on rear guard. When it's placed on the rear guard circle from the deck, I can check top three and superior call anywhere I want. Wow. Okay. And with all the cards that gain power, plus twos, plus fives, his AK base is irrelevant. Oh, okay. So it's this this pretty is, aggressive. This gets me so much plus. Okay, that's really good combos. All right. And we have two Mari. Okay, Marsha? Um, Unite yeah. at the end of the turn. I have the option to put her in the soul and unflip one damage. Huh. And she has resist. So that's... I really like her in uh, control matchups. Gotcha. Yeah, she can definitely keep herself alive. And she helps me uh, maintain my soul and my counter blasts. Okay. And finally, I have two Perrymore. Perrymore. They have okay. to be SP. All right. If they're not so, SP, you can't play the deck. So the entire skill for Perrymore is like uh, Fongo? Uh, it's kind of, it's like Fangol, but it's a little different. Okay. So, so. it's Unite. Uh, he becomes an 11k attacker. Okay. And Counter Blast 1, check my top three, call something in the same column. Mm. So it uh, whatever I'm calling is res restricted to becoming a booster. Gotcha. For him. Oh, well, I mean, I can call anything, but it has... You know. Just to like keep it going. Yeah, same column. All right, okay, two pair more. All right, so that's a great two lineup. All right, so grade ones. Grade ones. We have knight of N knife throwing knife throwing knight. That name. Melgon. Melgon. <laughs> So it's a uh, soul Man, these, blast these two, unflip two damage. Oh wow! I only run two of it. I honestly, I, I don't want to run one because I. It's not like I never want to see it. Uh -huh. I want to hit this when I need counter blasts. Uh huh. And I haven't hit my Mars. Gotcha. So you keep like soul blast now, yeah. and then unflip I, two is major. I don't use this every game, but when I do use it, it comes in clutch. Comes in really clutch. There's a two of tech. All right, and then. Our four PGs. Wow. We're playing the OG perfect. The Halo art. Shield Mark. All right. Because with a Gurgut's effects, I can't place a new perfect guard in the, the guard unflip circle a perfect from my deck because it requires some hand. So That's I try this deck unflips enough where I don't need the unflipping perfect guards. And I love playing OG cards. <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Throwback to the old days. All right. So next up, 
Next we have four Jeffrey. All right, and this guy, what does he do? Jeffrey is at the end of the battle, put him into the soul and draw a card. Okay. So he he's uh, great for drawing and he's great for maintaining my soul. Gotcha. And so I guess he soul blessed quite a bit. Yeah. Also unite. Also unite. <laughs> Finally. Next we have Stride Fodder. Oh. I have more SPs coming in the mail. Don't worry. <laughs> um, it's Stride Fodder. Yeah. Stride Fodder. Go ahead, pitch a grade three, and get you to stride anyways. Next, we have our triggers. Okay, so trigger lineup is my super secret funky trigger lineup. Uh, Starts with four heel triggers. Four heels. The prettiest heel gold paladins have. Oh. Because they can't be shiny, so I might as well get pretty. Yeah. Always good for enabling G guardians. Next, we have four catch goal. All right. So what is this guy? All right. So catch goal is when he's placed on the rear guard circle, I can put him on the bottom of the deck, check my top three, and superior call something that isn't catch call. So I can't loop it, but catch call is an amazing trigger. Um, even if I draw into him, I put him on my rear guard and I can put him back in my deck with slightly me flare. But we'll get to that in a bit. Okay. Um, he's great for getting into things that I want to get into. So gotcha. it's like I call a trigger and I'm not stuck on the trigger. And you get another chance to yeah. check top. All right, so four stands. Ooh. This is the new stand trigger that came in the set. All right. This is Jerry. Um, Hi, Jerry. Jerry plays a horn. Okay. <laughs> no, but... Um, okay. <laughs> Jerry has Unite. Yes. Uh, he gains plus three. All right. And when he attacks or boosts, he goes into the soul and unflips one damage. Wow. So Jerry is a very good card. Just not as good as catch goal. Yeah. Uh, so I'm running six stands all together. At least, yeah, in that regard, you have a lot of soul charging, a lot of unflipping. Yeah. Wow. I need to, I use so much counter blast and so much soul, I need to maintain it constantly. Understandable, okay. So we have four flame of victories. Oh, yes. Now I'm running four flame of victories over four of the Gurgu crit. Yes. Because this is easier to soul charge in my opinion. Oh, huh, okay. Uh, the Gurgu crit yes. needs off. to be on the board and my Gurgut has to attack. So if I'm setting up for the Gurgut stride, yes. if this is in my hand, I can just soul charge this. I can't do that with this. Because Gurgut has to swing yeah. first. So this is easier to get into my soul. So that's so, a... uh, we're running two of the Gurgut crit. Ah, um, when Gurgut attacks, shove it in the soul, plus five and I draw a card. Uh -huh. uh, it's you know yeah. a, a standard it's still good. Uh, crit. But yeah, so I'm running six stand, six crit, four heal. All right. This that's lineup that's worked that's very well for me in Ohio. All right, so awesome. Each, All right, so next up, we got the starter. The starter. Okay. Um, Knight of Early Dawn Coel. I was running the Lion starter mm -hmm. from GBT... Three? Three, four, yeah, four. three, three. GBT three. But um, this... I mean, I couldn't fight it anymore. <laughs> this card is really good. Okay. Um, it goes with the theme of the deck very well. And this is um, this is a free call on a Scorch Point turn. Gotcha. So all the Unites. Look at all those SPs. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now we're going into Strides, guys. All right, so Stride fought. Bonus points if you can guess this anime in the oh, comments. God. <laughs> we'll keep track of that. All right, so the first uh, card. Two Scourge Points. All right, so we heard talked about this before. What does this guy do? So Scourge Point is when a card is called from my deck to the rearguard circle, that card gains plus five, and Scourge Point gains plus five. Wow. So he gets very big, very fast in this deck. Mm -hmm. um, he's a really good card, but I needed room to tech other stuff, so I'm only running two. You're only running two. All right. Next up. We have one... Campbell. Okay. Campbell is a really good alternative first turn stride besides Scorch Point. Mm -hmm. If my opponent rushes me, I love going into Campbell because it helps me gain back some advantage. Yeah, and, and puts on on hit pressure. It's on hit, uh, search mm -hmm. top five. And then call one? And call one, if it hits. And it gets plus two, I think, right? Yeah, wow. whatever I call gets plus two. <laughs> nice. Campbell's a really good card. Next we have... Really good All right. This is our kill card. Okay. Very good stride. Yeah. Has to be secret rare, or you're doing it wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, his effect is counter blast one, soul blast two. With a GB two restriction. Every unit on the board gets plus five, and he gains plus five for each unit on the board. 
And best part guys, this is an act. You can spam this as much as you want. So you can gain 25,000 power and alone that stride would be 51k. Yeah. Wow. This, every time I use this, is usually swinging for 70 or greater. Jesus. I ain't, let, I ain't letting them keep anything in their hand. Next, this one of tech has saved me. This thing has won me games. We have Ray Breath Dragon from the start deck. Whoa, what's this guy? This thing is Unite. This unit gains plus five, and cards in my front row get plus two. This thing, I just, I, I love it. <laughs> like, it's free. That's another big thing. If I'm in late game and I've used all my counter blasts, I go into this. It gets me numbers, and I don't have to pay anything when I'm tapped out. You just get Unite and, and uh, wow. plus five and plus two to my rear. Just call two, and like, boom, free. <laughs> Two, Mithril Ezel. Okay, so uh, this is for our this is for our Ezel and uh, Counterblast one. Check top five. Call something. Sorry, it unlocks. Then I do the top five. Calls. Unlocks. Oh wow. Okay. So it unlocks my whole board, <laughs> just like Ezel. Yeah. Then I call something, and then this unit will gain whatever I call its power, and that unit will gain its power. Shout out to the OG Ezel. Okay. Yeah, it's really good. It's our tech for the Link Joker matchup. All right. Next, we're running two Spear Cross Dragon. Uh huh. Not a lot of people are running this card. Yeah. But I've actually used this card against Kagero when they wipe out my whole board. This card refills my whole board. Or Narakami when they wipe out my board. So this is in particular it's just a Counter Blast two for each unit face up in my G zone. I check my top five and call. So wow. as long as I have five units, I can call my whole top five. So you just recover yeah. immensely. This brings back my board for Counter Blast 2. Damn, that's insane. All right, so what's next up? We have Seabreeze. Oh, yes. I mean, it's Seabreeze. I don't know what else to say about it. It's staple. I it's... feel like I'm required to run it because I'm a G-break deck. Yes. I've only had to use it once, but the game I used it, I won. You want it, so... Because I have so much unflipping, I can recover from the Counter Blast 2. Next, we have our G Guardians. Okay. One Dismal. All right. Uh, Dismal is mainly here to protect my pillow. Only thing I want to. Everything else is replaceable. Just, just protect that with key card. Next up. Slay Me Flare. Oh, okay. I'm running three Slay Me Flares because it puts a card back in my deck. Oh, okay. It so takes a card from my field, put it to the bottom, check my top five, and pick two cards with different grades to guard with. Oh, wow. So with this, I recycle my catch goals, my fam goals, everything I want a superior call, I put it back in the deck. Damn, okay. This card is amazing. That's wow. why I'm running three. That's three, yeah, worth the three, okay. And this is my last G-Guardian. Okay. It's uh, the Fighters Collection's G-Guardian. All right. It, uh, I actually never use this. Uh, <laughs> so the full skill is? If I have two or more rear guards, it gets plus five shield. That's... This is here in case I want to preserve my Slay Me Flares for later. Okay. And I just need like a 15 shield. That's um, true, yeah. Running five G-Guardians isn't bad, guys. As long as you can recycle heals. Um, I like having options. That's why the uh, That's good. Yeah, that's the deck. All right, awesome. Wow. SPs. Yeah, SPL. All right, guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments below about the Gold Paladin build, feel free to comment on the video below, and I'll have Sam respond to you directly. But, of course, uh, thank you so much to the deck profile. Sam, that is it for the deck profile on Gold Paladin Gurguit with Azel. All right, you guys. I'm Alphonse Zeus, and I'm signing out. Also, please remember our new segment. Who is the real Alphonse Zeus? Oh my god. I'm the real Alphonse Zeus. I'm oh the god. real Alphonse Zeus. Wait, wait. Hi. Oh my god. So, tune in, guys, to the next segment. Who is the real Alphonse Zeus? I'm Alphonse Zeus signing out. Peace. Take care, guys. <laughs>